Uh, hi. Uh, so today we are going to see about the ODA and the basic concepts, uh, how ODA looks and the architecture and uh, everything. In, in the next sessions we will see the advanced topics and everything. Just we will have a overview of the ODA and everything. Okay. And uh, this is the ODA architecture. So more or less both the 11G and 12C architecture are same. That modules and the components are everything is same. Okay. So these are the high level architecture of the ODA. Okay. So when you, so once when you install the ODA or uh, once you install the ODA, so we are going to get all these components. Okay. We need to install the repositories like ODA master repository and ODA work repository. And this is the one module where we are going to have the connection to the different sources and the targets like legacy systems, flat files, DBMS, like we can connect to the Hadoop. In the latest version 12C, you can connect to the big data kind of thing like Hadoop and uh, Hive, big, all the kind of thing. And uh, different uh, ERP systems, everything, that connection pools are there in the uh, source and the target system so that you can give all the connections here. Okay, and these are all the different uh, uh, components in the ODA studio once you install the ODA. So we are going to get the designer, operator, topology and security. These are all the different uh, components where we are going to design our mappings and where we are going to give the security kind of thing. Topology is for our connection pools, operator is for our uh, monitoring, how the mappings are executing, all kind of steps can be done in the ODA studio. Okay, and here if you come here, ODI console and Java agents are related to the internal. Internal in the sense, uh, by using these uh, blocks, okay, uh, you can execute the mapping. Internal normally, say in the other ETL tools, uh, we will execute through the like uh, some plugin. Some plugin kind should be there for executing a mapping in the ODI. It 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 will not be like a say whenever in the other things, just you can right click and you can run the mappings in some other ETL tools like Ebnisio or the Informatica kind of thing. Just in the Informatica, you can execute the workflow. Okay, but in ODA, when you when you try to run any mapping kind of thing, it will ask an agent. Agent in the sense, it will act as a mediator. So it that agent will execute the particular mapping. So this is nothing but Java agent. Okay, and these are all the web services, the right side, web services center are there, right? Some web services also it will deal, like uh, in some of the scenarios, uh, we will have the web services as their data source and you can get the data from the web services and we can load into the other target warehouse or target databases. So this is the high level architecture of the ODA. Okay, you, these are the, see in the next slide I have explained like what are the components uh, highly uh, we are going to use in the ODA. These are the, when we install, these are the things we are going to take care of. ODI repositories, master repository and the work repository. We need to take care once we install the ODI. Okay. And after this, I told you, right, these are the different, uh, once we install the ODI studio, we are going to get the design navigator, operator navigator and topology navigator and security navigator. So these things should be there. According to the uh, or to say developer or according to the production environment, it varies from the environment. Like, see if I if I am giving the production environment, I am going to give only designer and the operator navigator. Okay. Whereas for the development environment, I am going to have the all the navigators. So the uh, it, it's it's you can choose according to the environment. You can choose and you can give the permissions to the uh, end user or. Uh, uh, environmental, you can change the uh, these navigators. Okay, and ODA agents, ODA agents. We are going to have the Java agent, standalone standalone agent, and a collocated agent. Okay, I told you right. So whenever you whenever you want to execute any mapping in, in the ODA, we will call it as interface or mapping. Okay, in 11G people call it as interface, whereas in the 12C people call it as it mapping. Okay, so uh, to run that mapping or execute that mapping okay we need an external agent external agent or one or in inbuilt agent so once you install the ODA we'll have three types of agent nothing but J2 agent standalone agent and collocated agent so these agents are required to execute any particular mapping okay so I, I will show the uh, uh, how it looks like ODA in the high level uh, like once we install how we are going to have the repositories and the look and feel I will show in the, in the, in the after this slide Okay, so this is the high level architecture. So see here, this is the thing, like for, as of now I have opened, let me close this, okay. Oh, 
ODS Studio. As of now, I have installed it. So I am going to get that as ODS Studio. Okay. So here we are seeing the version as 12.2.1. Okay. Might be if this is the latest version, some still some changes are coming. Uh, every six months, the changes are coming. Already I have created the work repository and the master repository and everything I have created. That's the reason we, I am connecting directly. Okay. So this is the way this is the way it looks like. Designer operator, I told you right. These are all the different operators and uh, what are the things? A designer operator topology security. And this is the way it this is the way it looks like 12.2.1. Compared to 11G, the look and feel everything got changed in 12C basically. So uh, so once we these are the projects, models, dimensions and cubes, load plans and arrays and global objects, operator. This is the monitoring topology. These are the architecture we, where we need to define the uh, all the kind of we need to define the connection pools and the what is the different uh, the databases we are going to see here. These are the multiple databases and the security here we are going to give the security kind of thing. So this is the high level uh, look, look and feel of the, the what to say 12C. 12C ODA data integrator, Oracle data integrator basically. So it is very advantageous and it works on the principle of ELT functionality. ELT means extraction, loading and transformation. Whereas other ETL tools uh, work it as a like a ETL approach. Okay, extraction, transformation and loading. Okay, more or less both are same. You, even this ODA also can make it as, can you, you can make it as to work, work like a ETL approach also. So normally it is advisable to work on ELT approach, okay, as per ODA. So it, it improves the performance kind of thing, okay. That's the reason, uh, of course, uh, even Oracle is, uh, what to say, more focusing on the ODA uh, to market on the, this. Earlier we have Oracle Warehouse Builder, that is also one of the ETL tool uh, developed by Oracle. So now they are, uh, even they have given utility to migrate entire OWB to ODA. Okay, so now they are stopping the OWB also, enter OWB and other, they are providing a migration utility to, uh, what to say, uh, to migrate the Informatica mappings also into the ODA, certain uh, uh, sim simple mappings, whereas complex mappings we need to redesign the things, but even in the, they are giving all the plugins kind of thing in the ODA to execute all the mappings. So this is the high level uh, of the ODA. In the next sessions, we are going to see about the, uh, what to say, how to design a mapping and the options in the ODA, how to run the mapping, that functions, scenarios, all the kind of stuff we are going to see. Okay, that's all. Thank you.